Hello everybody and welcome back to another Stun Brothers weekly tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to easily take apart and put back together any Rubik's Cube. With me, I have two Rubik's Cubes just to show you that it works on um, either one. This one's a little bit easier to take apart and put back together just because it has a stick center and um, it generally is easier. And this one has a ball center and uh, the pieces don't move around as easily so it is harder to put back um, together. I'll be starting off this video by teaching you how to put these cubes back together because I'm sure most of you that, that are watching this video right now need to put your cube back together rather than taking it apart. So I'll put that at the beginning of the video. Now as you see I've taken apart both of them so I'm just going to set this, these ones to the side and work mainly on these pieces right here. So um, one step that you can do to make everything a little bit easier is to separate the corner and edge pieces. And the difference between the corner and edge pieces, uh, <clears throat> um, this one is an edge piece and this one is a corner piece by the way. The corner piece has three sides, one, two, three, and also has kind of a triangular, um, kind of a triangular socket right there that goes inside the cube. And this one has one, two sides. The edge piece has one, two sides. And um, and it has this kind of cross-shaped um, socket or piece that goes inside the cube. So go ahead and sort those out left and on the left and right side. Okay, now that we have the corner pieces over here and the edge pieces over here, um, what we're gonna wanna do is just uh, pick up your, your um, center piece right here and I like to start out with an edge piece, um, putting in an edge piece in between two uh, centers right here. And you might be saying to yourself, hey, that doesn't match right here. Green and green matches, but what about this um, white and red right here? And actually, it doesn't really matter. If you know how to solve the Rubik's Cube, or if you wanna look up like an online um, AI that solves it um, and tells you the steps to solve yours, um, you can put them in any way you want, and it'll be just fine. If you want to have a uh, solved cube by the time you finish putting these back together, then you're going to want to carefully watch where they're going and put them in the right position. But for me, I can put them anywhere I want. And by the way, what I'm doing, in case you're not seeing, um, I just want to make sure you're seeing, is that I'm kind of like putting the, the putting this... Um, socket inside and then um, swiveling it in into um, into where it needs to go uh, roughly it'll all settle up it'll it'll all, it'll all settle when more pieces are in but see I'm taking this piece um, kind of putting it where there's not really any pieces and then um, moving it and sliding it in to where it you know needs to go Okay, now that we have the um, now that we have two layers, it's kind of more rigid, and um, you can, I mean, you can honestly even put it down on your workspace, and um, put in the rest of the pieces. And this is how I'm going to do it, just by kind of, you know, shoving it in, and maybe even rotating this a little bit might help you if you're having any troubles. And I'll show you. A little bit more, uh, more closely what I did there I mean it's it's really just I mean sticking it in it's it's not anything special anything I'm looking out for so now that you have one edge piece and one corner piece left to put in your cube and I'm also gonna bring out the other more difficult one um, what you're gonna want to do is put in the edge piece first and then put in the corner piece last which I will um, be taking a lot of a lot of time to show you how I put in the corner piece last so try to Maybe rotate this if you're having any trouble and putting it in um, But it shouldn't be too much harder than the ones that you've been doing on the top row anyway Just like that um, Now I'm gonna be teaching you it's gonna be very easy for me on this one uh, But it, I even struggle with an, with it on that one um, to put in this last corner piece and I have a few tips for you, but um, really it's up to you to to do this. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is, I mean, obviously you're just going to jam it in there, um, but maybe try, you know, I wish 
I almost wish I had three hands um, just so I could I could put it in there. But try to, with this hand, hold the cube, but also pry, you know, pry it back with one of your thumbs or something. And also um, try to get one of these, one of these pointed, you know, edges right here. Try to get one of them and, and um, try to jam the, one of those in there first so that it pops in there like that. That's, that's the best way that I've found. And if you get really stuck, that could help you a lot. So same thing with this. There we go, finally. Um, one, one more thing you could do for that is to even stretch it out with your hands because I've been trying that for a few minutes now and stretching it out with my hands and then putting it in um, helps a lot. So again, with this, with this last corner piece right here, what you're gonna wanna do um, to put it in here is to try and hold it with one hand while, you know, stretching it out a little bit and um, stretching it with this, it's just kind of fighting to get it in there. Um, so, and then, and then using one of these ends and putting it in the top so that the other, uh, the bottom two can, and can uh, click in. There, like that, see it popped in. Um, let's see, really only way I can, I, I can describe it and you can go back and replay it if you, if you want to. Here it is again. So we have the corner piece and we just stick it, we just stick it up and then pop it in. Now when solving these like this, um, you may encounter some problems um, along the way. Like, well, you'll, you'll really identify them in, at the end and I'll show you an example of what I mean in a second. See, like I was trying to solve the uh, the top yellow side right here, and um, this one is turned out of, of the way. Um, so how do you how you turn a corner is to just grab it with your fingers and, and twist it like that. Um, and then I can continue um, trying to solve it. And also, say you were on the last step, and you have two that you need to switch, and um, these two are fine. So this is another parody, is what it's called. And um, what you'll need to do is just take out this corner piece, take out an edge piece, just twist it sideways, and then um, move this one over. You don't even have to take it out. Um, then put in the edge piece again. And then put in your corner piece, just like that. Now on to how to take apart the Rubik's Cube. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is do two simple simple steps, and that is to take out the edge piece right here, and then um, take out the, all the other pieces piece by piece, um, as sloppily as you want to. Um, why do we take out the edge piece first and not just not the corner piece is because you can simply um, kind of rotate, hold on, once you grab this piece, you can rotate it and snap it out like that. It's a little bit easier on that one, so I'm gonna show you on this one. But you can grab the edges there and rotate it and pop it out like that one. And um, that is how you do it. That is how the, that's how you do the first step. And that's how to complete the first step. Now, if you wanna take out all the other pieces, just take them out um, piece by piece and you know put them on your work area. And that is how you would take apart um, the Rubik's Cube. And so as you can see, we, we don't have any pieces left on here and all the pieces are off to the side. Now, if you're interested in taking off the cap pieces um, just for tensioning or lubrication, you can use a flathead screwdriver to pop this um, cap off of this one. I found that's easier for the Rubik's Speed Cube. Um, but for this one, you can just probably use your fingernail and pop it off like that. All right guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and uh, check out the other videos on this channel as well. Um, if you wanna learn how to solve the three x three Rubik's Cube, just click this video right here. And if you wanna learn how to um, lubricate your cube to make it go faster, just click this video right here. Um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.